Um, hi everybody, I'm Bernie Torme and a couple of people have asked, well a lot of people actually over the years have asked about if I could take them through the gear I use. So um, that's a kind of a pretty complicated thing because um, it's not always exactly the same. So I'll just go through first of all the gear that I generally use um, live. As he is, he totters around the place. Um, so it's completely turned down at the moment, so um, it sounds a bit weird. <laughs> Okay, um, here is the guitar I generally um, use live at the moment. It hasn't anything special about it. It's got um, prestige pickups, um, Nikos, as they used to be called, but they're now called a prestige. Um, completely standard uh, Strat. It's um, an older body. Maple at the back, that's ebony, and normal frets. Um, hasn't anything clever on it at all, and I've got three springs on the back, though in fact, on an awful lot of my guitars I have four springs, so it just uh, depends on the tension of the springs and how the guitar um feels. Um, so that's it, okay? I'm going directly into um, a box here that has been called my magic box. Um, what is that box? Well actually it's just a routing box. It hasn't got anything in it at all other than in, out, uh, and in return. It hasn't got anything in it. It's completely passive and um, I just use it to stand out into um, a boss um, noise gate called a noise depressor here um, because it's basically a soft edge. Um, it'll go like and it'll click in and there isn't any, you know, hard edge click. So goes in here, goes um, out of that into uh, the Big Moff, and it's um, Russian. Um, I like it because it's quite round and kind of warm and meaty, so um, I have it set up, as you can see, the volume is here. The stain is here, and the tone is in the middle. Now, generally, um, if I want more the stain live, I just whack it up. But nothing else changes. I mean, that's it. Um, it comes out of that and back in to the um, noise gate, and then out of the, the noise gate, back in to the return here. See, and that goes. I mean, that's incredibly simple. The only reason I have the two pedals is if I have it off, it's quite noisy. Only it, it cleans it up enough, you know. Okay, the um, thing is on stage, I leave these two pedals on continually. And I will bypass on here. So you have. <laughs> that ought to have been an A, but it included a B flat, so it sounds a bit weird. <laughs> That's jazz. Okay, so if I can talk about the amp. These are the amps that I've been using probably for about the past seven or eight years live. Um, it's a Marshall Vintage Modern uh, 100 and it was designed by the great Steve Dawson. And um, it basically has 
KT66s in the back. Um, it has a dynamic um, range button here that I, that I always have it in. If it's clean, it's... If it's in, it's... And um, I always have that in. I have the um, the two um, overdrives here, the, the body and uh, detail. Yep, so it's at about half on the detail and it's at about half on the body. It depends on the particular amp um, because at times on... Um, I have another of these and I have to have slightly more um, detail on it. It depends how it sits and pounds. And, I mean, basically that's it. It sounds a bit crap at the moment because it's turned down and you have to drive the uh, power valves to have it, like, nice and warm and um, meaty. So um, I can't actually do with that because it'll... Uh, or probably break the camera if I do that. So the cab is just an ordinary cab. It's got um, Celestian vintage um, 30s in it because I like them. Um, I'm not into particularly bright speakers. Um, I like the kind of breakup on them and nice tone. So um, I kind of. They are my speaker of choice. Okay, so um, that's basically um, all of the gear that I play um, live. is isn't anything special, it's just, you know, an amp and a guitar and a pedal, basically. Generally, if I'm recording, I don't use the, uh, the VM. I use this amp. It's a, a, a Marshall believe um, from 1970 um, and it has BT on it <laughs> so I've had it and I've actually had it since 1970 so it's my baby um, it's incredibly loud so I can't actually like it's clean um, that's the amp that I generally recorded with all the way along. There were times I had um, Super League twos. Um, this is an, or an original um, Super League, and um, at the time I was playing with Ian and um, Dee and all of those people, and um, Torme with Earth Hill, um, it was that amp pretty much um, and this pedals here um, I've had those since 1980 they were built by Pete Cornish who's um, a, a pretty famous guy and he claimed it's the only battery board he ever built um, I had it as a battery board basically because in 79 and 80 um, in Gillen we were touring all kinds of strange lands um, um, Yugoslavia, Greece and the power was just appalling so rather than actually have you know a problem about trying to have 220 Bolts and actually have it at about 180. I said no batteries. So um, Pete had all um, the parts from me. Um, it's um, a muffin here again. Um, it was one I had from about 1974. It's an early one, it's incredibly noisy, so if I can just um, turn off 
the, the, the noise gate, you'll hear it. So it was a problematical pedal, so I had a noise gate here. Um, here you have um, a wah. I've used it in the past, hardly ever now, and here you have a phaser, an MXO phaser. Um, that's about it. Um, as time marched on, I kind of got um, a graphic linked in on a end and return. Um, Originally, it was an MX Aura. It was great. I really liked it, but it was um, again incredibly noisy. So um, I'm now on a boss. It's not as I don't know strong. It isn't as um, you know really um, extreme, but it is a hell of a lot cleaner. So there you go. Um, that's about it, I suppose, really. And here you go.